Hey everyone, what's up? This is Elvin Mark. Welcome to another cafe sketch. If you're a fan of durian, stick around. We are in the Jalan Basa area here in Singapore. Uh, and if you notice this site here, it's under construction. But this was where our former thieves market or Sungai Road market used to be. Anyhow, we're heading over to Miss Durian. Newly opened right here in the Jalan Bursa area. Alright, so let's check out the menu. Uh, let me key my name first. Oh yeah, my name is already there. So let's hit that. Here we go, start ordering. Alright, so this place serves typical Western meals but I think that the main draw here would be the desserts anything durian based you have durian tiramisu you have cracklin you have mantos you have durian cake uh, ice cream so here right in front of your face check it out this one's whiskey Mao Shan Wang durian I'm gonna order a few of these small little bites and I'm gonna sketch them later but for now let us use two different point liners with two different values one a grey and the other a full black and in this one episode after doing my sketch you will see both the foreground and the background pop you see the foreground being pulled away and the grey background receding into the page. So let me start first by just putting in some markings of where all the items are in this cafe. Alright, there we go. So let us now use the 1.0 black point liner to ink in the foreground. This should be way easier than when I first put down the greys because all I'm doing is just writing on the marks that I've made earlier on. So yeah, there's another neat thing about having a lighter tone or a lighter value is that you can use this lighter tone like this grey that we have here to mark out or to rough in the general shapes that you have of the complete scene. This is especially useful if you are new to drawing and you're not too sure what goes where at this point. This grey marking allows you to put in place a general idea of where everything is going to be placed. Already you can see a gap between the dark lines and where the grey lines behind are. I've created a gap or depth in this drawing. Let's take it up a notch now and to really punch in those blacks so that they will jump out forward. The staff uniform is black so I'm gonna fill that up with black ink and already immediately you can see how this figure is jumping out from the background. Yeah, so once again you can use this very simple technique of using a two-tone pen or pencil or marker to render or draw your scenes. Having the one with the lighter shade as the background and the darker one as the foreground. And immediately you will see this pushing and pulling of foreground and background in a drawing which will create different layers into your drawings. The more different tones you add, in your drawings, the more depth you're going to create in your renders or your sketches. 
So if you are new in art or if you're struggling to understand tones, this is a very simple way of putting it. You can treat the grey point liner as a 50% black. Over time, when you get more proficient in handling the pencil or maybe even the pen, you'll be able to push and pull your objects in and out of space even though you're drawing on a flat surface. So finally, we're done with this sketch of this cafe. You can see the grey background recedes and the dark foreground jumps out at you, the audience. I hope you found this exercise helpful and useful. If you know of someone who may benefit from this, do share this with them, please. All right, so since we're all done, it's time to have some dessert here at Miss Durian. I'm gonna order two cracklins, one durian puff and one macaroon. So when I'm rendering my full watercolor realistic renders, there are many many tones happening not just on a gray scale but in a color so over time when you're able to observe and skillfully translate these tones and values onto your drawings onto your sketches you'll be able to render very 3d realistic like drawings and hopefully this encourages you until the next episode, everyone, continue to stay creative, continue to explore different avenues in art. This is Alvin Mark signing off. Ciao, ciao.